Ed, welcome back. How you doing? I'm so good, man. Thank you so much for joining us. I think your show in South Africa in 2019 was one of the last great shows we had before this ungodly pandemic. Oh man, thank you. I uh, I, I enjoyed being there so much. You know, like I I had I'd been South Africa for the Global Citizen Festival, mm. but I was so, I was it was so brief. I was there and I I flew out. So actually going to tour there and spending a lot of time there was like. Really great. You guys have well, some great wine there. Really good yeah, wine. Yeah, it was incredible, man. We really enjoyed having you here. And we can't wait to welcome you back when this is all over. But new music out. So excited about the new stuff. I just had the pleasure of listening to Bad Habits Now. And I think before we even get into the song, let's talk about the title. When I think Ed Sheeran, the last thing I think about is bad or bad habits. Why the title? What are some bad habits that um, Ed Sheeran has? I think probably the same bad habits as most people i feel like the the song title came from how bad habits lead to other bad habits if that makes mm -hmm. sense so say it's like a friday night you go out for a beer and you're like oh i'm gonna have a salad but then you have a beer then another <laughs> one then a couple of shots of tequila and then you drink a bottle of wine and the next thing you know you light a cigarette and then you have the fast food and then you text the person you're not supposed to say you know like it's <laughs> like they all lead to worse and worse things Absolutely. So the normal human habits, you speak like a man after my own heart. You know, you go out with friends, you're like, you know what, I'm just going to have one beer. Three hours later. You know what, I don't, I, I don't kid myself though. I go, <laughs> I go, if I'm, if I'm going in, I'm, I'm going in. So like, if I know, like, so here, like at home, I would have like one beer or like a glass of wine. But if I'm going out, especially now, like the country's just starting to open up now and I haven't seen my friends in so long. So like, if I'm going out, we're like, we're going out. You know? Going out. Yeah. Go big or go home. All right. So I just listened to the track. Love it. It's so completely different to what we're so used to. So, I mean, I, everyone on the radio keeps hearing me talk about how I'm getting married. And of course, when I think about getting married, I always think it's your music is going to play. But this song is like, it gets me amped for the weekend. I want to go out and, as we say in South Africa, Joel. You know, I want to go. It. Yeah. Sister. It's so <laughs> great, man. Thank you. I feel like, I feel like I've done a lot of different styles of music and I'd never done a dance tune and I wanted to do something to kind of kick off this album that was very different, but still like if you stripped it away and I played it on acoustic guitar, it would sound like a song of mine, but I really wanted to just, I don't ever want to do the same thing over and over again. I always want to do something a little bit different. I mean, the album has a load of songs that are very similar to other albums that I've made, you know, like it's got my classic, got the love song you know, <laughs> the wedding stuff, stuff. Yeah, the, all, of that, all of that all of that all of that so you know there's uh, for fans there's lots of boxes that are ticked there but for me releasing the first single back i wanted it to be like i wanted people to listen to it and not think it was me if that makes sense this mm. is those parts i was listening to i was like are you sure they've sent me the right song i don't think this is it sharing at all good. Um, <laughs> that's good <laughs> no i love it man but is this like a once off or can we expect more dance music uh, when it comes to it sharing no, this is it. This is it for this for this record. Um, I didn't want to make a dance record. I wanted to just make I, this. This is the most left of center that I've got on this on this record. The next single is a bit more classic me. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah, this is like a first for me. I love it. And uh, listen, once again, it's such a dancey record. I'm so used to just you on your guitar. I mean, you, you on your loop pedal. This is obviously produced by somebody who produces song. So the song is produced by a guy called Fred, um, who uh, made my project with me. But he is, as an artist, he's a dance producer himself. He's called Fred, Fr Fred again. And he is just, he's the best in the business, man. He is so good. He's so good. And I'm, uh, I'm honored to be able to work with him. See, I didn't know this part. I didn't know you keep alluding to an album of sorts. I know you keep yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. an album. When is, what, tell us more about that. The album's going to come towards the end of the year and uh, it's, I think, the best thing I've done. I know everyone says that about the new album, but I do think this is the best thing I've done. I've spent four <laughs> years putting it together and yeah, it's good. Four years? Four years, yeah. I, the first song that I wrote from it, I wrote in June 2017. That is crazy. I thought maybe it was one of these albums that you started writing because of the whole lockdown situation. I thought no, I mean, there, was, like there were some songs that came from that. But I mean, like there's, you know, there's one song on it that I wrote in Sweden uh, when I played there in 2018. There's one song that I wrote in Nashville when I played there in the end of 2018. Some that are written as soon as tour ended in 2019. There's some that are written in 2017. And, you know, there's one that I wrote two weeks ago. You know, it's just 
there's there's lots of different tunes on there. And uh, I mean, you say when tour ended in 2019, did your tour end on your own schedule or were you forced to shut down like everyone else when COVID hit? No, I, I ended August 2019, COVID hit in March 2020. So uh, my, my, tour, my tour ended, it was kind of like a natural, natural end to it. Oh, that's so that's crazy, man. All right. So new album coming out, new single, of course, we're all about to take a listen to it. Um, if I'm trying to break any of my bad habits, like the ones that you've mentioned, uh, just for our listeners, some advice as to how to get out of the same old routine, getting out of bad habits. Well, I think bad habits are not bad if they're done in moderation. I feel like if you yeah. have a beer, two or three beers, that's not bad. If you have a cigarette every now and then, that's not bad. If you have like 40 cigarettes in a night and 10 <laughs> beers, like that, that's when bad habits lead to being bad, you know? So I think what I've learned is just things in moderation. Like it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world to have a pizza, but don't have it every day, you know, or mm. like a burger and chips or just like things that are actually really nice to have. Like, I feel like people go on these like crash diets where they're like, I'm not eating any unhealthy food and I'm not having any sugar and I'm not mm. doing it. And that's, you need, you need a balance. You need a balance. So I'd say, I'd say do what you love, but do it in moderation. I love that. I mean, often bad habits are easily replaced with good habits. You know, the best way to get rid of something bad, replace it with something good. Your life has changed a lot drastically in the last year. You're a dad now and all yeah. that jazz. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you, man. Um, any new habits that you've developed since, I guess, the last year of your life? Uh, I started drinking coffee because um, <laughs> uh, uh, my daughter wakes up at all hours of the night. And, you know, I don't I, I like getting up and like making her breakfast and then so I take a basic my morning routine is like I wake up take her downstairs feed her breakfast make a coffee then I take her in the gym and she's just kind of sits there and plays with toys while I work out and then I take her back in and kind of we go about our our day she's quite structured in her like napping which helps daddy ed switching the beers for the coffee i love it man but the thing well, is we can still we can still have beers though so like once w once a week my parents come around or Cherry's parents come around and babysit yeah. and, and me and Cherry will go and have a date, which I think is very important. No, I, of course, of course. Well, listen, we love you here in South Africa. We can't wait for you to come back. I think 2019 was one of the highlights of our year was having you here. So as soon as all this nonsense is over, welcome back to South Africa. And thank you so much for chatting to us. Thank you so much, man. Absolute pleasure. Who's CZ James on 947? A mix of music and conversation that'll make it hard to believe it's actually a workday. 947 loves you.